Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt on the Death March difficulty. Today I'm currently watching two people beating the shit out of each other. But uh, I also checked out the notice board here in Lindenvale, that's the village where we're at. And I found a quest of an old woman called Dolores who has a problem with monsters in her manor. She's the one crying here, so we'll have a little chat with her. Hello? What was that about? What's become of me in me elder years? Refused a roof over me head by a common churl. I was born a noble's daughter. My brother and I, we managed the manor for years. So what happened to the man? What happened to him? A caller came one day. A drifter, a hunter. It wasn't long before we fell in love and wed. We prepared to leave the manor. My brother, he took offence, refused to bid me farewell. Years on I returned, but found no sign of him. Folk claimed monsters had infested our home. Come to nest there. Okay, well, since we're a witcher, that is uh, kind of convenient for you. Since we can kill those. I could take care of those monsters for you. Mm. You're a witcher, right? No ordinary man would be so eager. Don't fret. It's all the same to me, provided you're honest. The house is east of here. Take this key. Once you've driven off the beasts, look for a chest. My treasure. Savings, really. They're yours. Well, thank you. What'll that leave you with? A roof over my head is all I need. And if it comes to it, I've other heirlooms to sell. But I know you witchers don't work for free. I could never let you go without honest pay. Gods keep you. Okay, well after that generous offer we can't refuse really, now can we? This is actually one of the side quests I haven't done yet, so uh, this will be a surprise for me as well, whatever happens. So there we go. And then we come to a, uh, well, a broken down wall as it seems. Well, it looks like more than a manor, this is a small village. Set this knew what they were doing. Never known a monster to oh. a trap. Someone's here. I accidentally stepped on a trap, apparently, a tripwire with some very nasty picks. Um, and we received another quest, actually. But first, we're gonna complete this. Um, Quen, as usual. And then we'll have a look around. Huh. More traps, so it seems. One less to worry about. A bear trap. Movement. Got to keep my ears open. Rustling. Over there. So yeah, I'm doing two quests at the same time right now. So this is gonna be a bit confusing. So there's a uh, another active quest here. Ghosts of the past. Fire damage. Booby trap. Whoever said it knew what they were doing. Jesus Traps Christ. Everywhere. Gotta be careful. Oh. I was disarming those. Jesus Christ. One less to worry about. So if I walk over one. Oh no. Okay. I wonder if I keep the quench shield up and walk over a trap. Oh, no absorption. One less to worry about. So let's try and disarm the ones I can see at least. One less to worry so about. So that's probably the door I need to check for um, the quest I'm doing right now, I presume? Hello? This seems to be where her treasure is, no? That's a book, don't need that. Iron ore, nothing specifically weird. Yeah, what's this? A journal. 
Dolores Reardon's diary. Journal. Huh, let's check that out. So Dolores Reardon is the woman that set us up for this, so uh, let's check this out. There we go. The third of Fain. Hot summer days have come earlier than usual this year. Humbert has grown unbearable. He gets angry whenever I accompany the milkmaids to the river. He says I'm not to fraternize with the help. But what makes him truly furious is when I converse with Yan and Fred. He claims a well-born lady should not mix with men of lower rank. That doing so undermines his that doing so undermines his rightful authority over them. Perhaps once the summer swelter begins to fade, he'll become more tolerable. The twentieth. The boredom weighs heavier and heavier upon me. I love my brother and I'm glad we did not sell the estate after our parents died, but at times I daydream of what it would be like to live somewhere else, with other people. The 43rd of the same month, I presume? We have a guest, he's the son of the lord of from somewhere near Gorse Velen. A hunt took him across our land and he asked for lodging. Oh what a joy, finally something is happening. The 15th of Lamas. The time has come to admit it. I love Roderick, probably the, the noble man, the son of the Lord that uh, arrived here. And I feel he loves me too. I hope Humbert will be pleased. The 18th. I told Humbert about Roderick and me. He flew into a rage. He said that match was out of the question. Perhaps I can convince him otherwise. Three days later, Humbert remains implacable, but I shan't abandon the love of my life for him. If I'm left with no other choice, I will run away with Roderick. And so it happened, I suppose. But what happened to the brother? That's the main question here, I presume. Some more books, and there's a ladder here. Okay. That seemed useless, but hey. Rustlings coming from the barn. So well, I'm gonna combine the quests then, since I uh, didn't I disarm that one already? Yeah. We haven't found the treasure yet. Hello. This is not the barn I'm looking for. I know that's the barn I'm looking for, but. Oh, Geralt, don't move. One less to worry about. Two more traps. He's a long distance, this armor. One less to worry about. Okay, the door is locked, and I need a key. There's something up there. So let's open the big door that's been teasing me all along. Tripwire. A bit of leftover from the Witcher sense. Yeah, such as the tripwire that's right in front of your face. Problem solved. I haven't seen any monsters though, oh, so. A tripwire. Oh wow, with crossbows. Problem solved. That would have been painful. Holy shit. Oh, that's no, that's arming. That's not this arming. That's has to worry about. This arm. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, fuck it. One less to worry about. So this clearly isn't a monster, so I'm presuming we're looking for a person. And that person has probably killed all the monsters. Oh, there's a clue over there. Hmm, a sort of attic. Gotta get up there somehow. Yeah, probably using the ladder that's down here. Crystallized essence. Might be just long enough to reach that upper level. Okay. Thanks for the black screen. 
There Let's we see go. What's up there? Ooh, I hope something good. Okay, don't even let me. Oh, that Only looks like a witcher sword. Hope you're not hurt. Those were my traps. Letho. Yeah, didn't oh, expect hello. to see you either. You one of them? One of whom? Who's them? To the emperor, mercenaries. To themselves, bounty hunters. To me, ordinary sons of bitches. Well, got nothing to fear from me. Took a job from an old woman. Supposed to get rid of the monsters here. Did that already. Count on you remembering that when you collect your pay. Uh, of course we will. So, Leto or Leto, I still don't know how to pronounce his name. They call him Leto, so I will too. Um, is, was kind of the bad guy in the first half of The Witcher 2. He uh, killed uh, more than one king. Uh, so he was the assassin of kings in The Witcher 2. And he is another witcher, by the way. Uh, Witcher of the Viper School, as opposed to us being from the Wolf School. So, uh, let's see what he's doing here. Hiding in a place overrun by monsters. Good idea. Means people don't wander in by accident. And the ones who come on purpose. Well, I'm prepared for them. Assassins? Emperor just decided to get rid of me. I'm an inconvenient witness after all. I've run into loads of men out of kill me ever since I left Loch Muin. Now I understand all the traps. Gotten real careful. For good reason. What's all the noise outside? Okay! Don't look a bit like lost travelers. They're not. Means Lewis sold me out. Lewis? Old friend, kinda. Did a few jobs together once a while past. Lewis recommended this place to me. Okay. You sure about that? So maybe those men down below wound up here by accident. Eat my own boot before I believe that. Gotta get rid of them. Come in. Yeah, we'll help you. Lead the way. We got a plan of attack? Yeah. Improvise. <laughs> and he jumps down. That was a uh, spectacular. So. So that's a lot of fucking people. Ooh, there goes his arm and there goes another head and ooh, he loses that arm so that wasn't too bad for it being an attack with eight or nine people shuttle armed for assassins they're just scats came to see if Lewis was telling the truth rest must be waiting nearby Interesting. And your old pal probably knows where. He was the only one knew I'd be here. Must have told him. Think me and him are due for a little chat. Okay. Yeah, we want to see that. Of course, I want to see that. Could be interesting. The viewers want to see that. Alone. Decided two witches should loosen his tongue that much quicker. Stay close to me. It's one of those places that's hard to find if you don't know where to look. If you give me five seconds to loot these guys. Nothing spectacular, but hey. This Lewis. Somehow doubt he's one of your best friends. You know how it is in this trade. Stick closer, Garrow. Yeah, dude. Bring Seriously. Take it easy. Jack, if he's robbed you in the morning. How'd you meet? Was before Faltas kissed this world goodbye. Lewis was a wanted man in Eden. Hefty bounty on his head and normal contracts were hard to come by. So I decided to catch the bastard and make some coin. Tracking him down proved easier than killing a drowner. He was, uh, 
Merry making at the Golden Hanged Man, smack in the middle of Hag. Nabbed him, tied him up, the guard post didn't open till dawn. So we had a few hours, started talking, killing time. Chat was so nice that once dawn came, I let him go. And that's why you trusted him? Felt he owed you one? I was stupid. Stupidity can cost you, but betrayal costs even more. Okay, that sounds like a very vengeful letter. But you could make a very handy ally. Two witcher is always better than one. Especially if he's as skilled as uh, Geralt is. Okay. A quick save, don't want to lose all that progress. So we've come at a sort of bandit camp apparently. With a few dead people. Letho. Greetings. Good to see you, alive and well. Of course. Doubt that. We're old mates, ain't we? Who's your friend? Huh. Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Another one? What's this? Prime contract available in the area? Sit down. Care for a drink? I don't drink with traitors and rats. Whoa, let's be civil now. Remember, you're on my turf. I don't think one he's scared. His man showed up at the manor. You were the only one knew I was there. They'd be nipping at your heels for a while. Said so yourself. Perhaps I find a core whiff. Well, the men behind us say otherwise, I think. You've not been here five minutes, and already you've offended me twice. No insult worthy of scum like you. Okay, there we go. Witches. Witches don't attack humans. Make an exception for you. Hmm, maybe I can try art. Okay, one is of them is poisoned. There goes one. And another one. There goes another one. Oh, and Louise is dead as well. Never mind. Oh, not completely dead. Lie still or you'll bleed to death. Tell me where Vesto's men are. I'll give you something to staunch the bleeding. Uh, by killing him? They're north of here. He's gonna kill him, is he? In Lindenvale. Huh. I'm curious. How much does the life of an old mate get you these days? Things. Things been shy of late. And we fell afoul of the black ones. Vesta showed up one day. Offered half of the bounty on your head, and a letter of absolution from the Emperor. <laughs> you gotta understand, <laughs> you don't say no to an offer like that. I understand. Who is gonna lose his head? Hey, my medicine! Ooh. Gotta mm. understand, Louis. You don't betray men like me. Time to see Vester. Oh, you're just away. gonna leave him there. Okay. Should should I finish him off or? Horsens. You said what now? You said what now? Fucker. That may be a bit sadistic, but he called me a horson. You don't call a man a horson like that. Especially how they murdered people, apparently. So after some quick looting, we'll uh, ride again with Leto to wherever he needs to go. Okay. We can't pick up the go, pace, go. though. Oh no, Vester. Elfgardian name. From Metner, I think. 
but he's hunted and killed everywhere from the far south to the Dragon Mountains. Why have I never heard of him? Goon goes by different names. Brandon Bilf, Apple Saxon, Manfred Wimplebottoms. <laughs> Wimplebottoms. Good name for a clown. Once he's done in, sure worth laughing. Preferred method, rip the teeth out one by one. Then cut the mouth open ear to ear. It's Ew. Keep your eyes open. Healthy. Here. Don't know. But like I said, I've grown real careful. So we're back at Lindenfield, the town where we started. Okay. No ambush yet. Nice maps. They've got to be worth more than the entire village. <clears throat> okay, so that's an indication that we're uh, expecting company. Nilf Guardian Company. Oh, that's Roach, all right. Oh, that kid looks ugly. What's in the barn? <laughs> Got company. Run and find your parents. Tell them to grab whatever's valuable. Take you and flee. Got it? Good. Give this to your mother. Now run. See? That is not so Who bad a man. Compensation. Stay here and don't interfere. No matter what happens. Oh. Okay then. Take your ears. Plug your ears. I want to join in. Oh, wow. Okay. I want bombs like that. What are blazes? A bolt of lightning or something? Shut up, all of you. That's a really stupid outfit for a Nilf Guardian. Ooh, can we see this? Letho of Gullet. Good to see you, alive and well. Funny. Second time today I've heard that lie. It is no lie. You will certainly fetch a higher bounty alive. Really? How much? Enough to buy me an estate in Kavir, where I will lie about eating fruit till the end of my days. Not bad. Not every man gets to know the price on his hand. Most men would prefer not to have one. But why have you come? To make my life easier? We were passing by. Decided it was time to finally meet the famous Arno Vester in person. I am flattered. Shame we'll not get to know one another better. Why? Going somewhere? No. Simply because I will kill you in a moment. Wanna kill me, but you don't even know me. Not nice. Think I have to punish you for that. I like it. I won't kill you. I'll just cut off your hands. Cut off all your hands. One man after the other. Till the end of your days, those stumps will remind you of the mistake you made. Okay. That hell. You fucking dimwit. I hadn't time to exchange two words with the man. He provoked me! by walking towards you. Okay. Is he gonna kill ten men by himself with an arrow in his shoulder? Great! We have no Impressive. With you, but one false move and... And what? You will end like him. What say you to that? Did he just die? Um, I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. What do I say? Simple. You're as good as dead. And I hope this guy isn't ten levels above me. Okay, okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Oh, okay, his sword is fucking long reaching. I'm gonna get out of here. Just 
Jesus Christ, that hammer hits like a fucking mule. There goes the bowman. Oh wow, that guy just lost his upper half. And heavy attacks, that's the way to do it apparently. So how is Leto? Is he dead? Hmm. Zinguiberian venom. Something's fishy. Something's fishy. Is he still alive or I'm gonna suppose so. He doesn't look like it though. Oh, there we go. Witches are extremely uh, resistant to poison, so... You're still here. <laughs> They'd have cut your head off if I hadn't been here. Hmm. So you proved useful after all. Of course, man. <laughs> no fun in that. You all right? You're conscious, but the Zanguibarian venom could still kill you. Got the antidote? Hmm. Saddlebag. Take it in a minute. Couple of days I'll be like new. What was it for, that whole farce? Told you. I'd been on the run since Loch Muin. Loads of pursuers. Got ambushed once, almost died. So I decided it was time to end it, once and for all. Found Vesto's gang and paid off his arbalist. You just witnessed the rest of the story. So you paid their arbalist to add a poison to their weapons? Okay. What if he'd crossed you, like Lewis? I had to risk it. If you hadn't cut down every last witness, I'd be a free man. Letho of Gullet is dead. Word of that would have spread across the continent in days. Wouldn't have done it if you'd let me in on your plan. Told you not to get involved. Yeah, but... Well, my plan's in shambles. I should really disappear. Well, you could go to Kaer Morn. Accompany Kira there. Hmm. You could wait things out at Kaer Morn. With your friends from the school of the wolf. Uh -huh. No thanks. Could end badly. Oh, come Tell on. I sent you. They'll understand. Give you space. Care more, Han, you say? Hmm. Why not? Got some loose ends to tie up. But then I'll head there. Great. Help you somehow? Need anything? No thanks. I'll be fine. So. See you at Care Morin. See you, Wolf. Well, that's something I hadn't done before. Now, uh, Leto is part of the gang. Let's see if I can't uh, find anything in this house. And then we'll go visit Dolores again to finish off the quest that we actually started since we've. Uh, it's been a while since we started that quest. Enhanced weapons and armor. Could have used that before the fight, but hey, I'm not complaining now. And then let's see. We're still close to Lindenvale, I think, so uh, let's go talk to the lady. All the inhabitants of the villages of Down Warren and Lindenvale are hereby ordered to report to the Nilfgaardian Army Group Center Camp to perform labor for the Empire. Lists of assigned residents and their designated days of service have been provided to the village aldermen. Those caught evading their duties shall be flogged. Handy. Okay. Hello, Dolores. You've returned. What's become of my home? 
Well, it's safe. It's safe now. I thank you. This means so much. And perchance did you find my chest? With my treasures? No. Could be someone stole it. Perhaps. So many years have passed. But go back and search carefully. I've naught else to offer you. Okay. We'll sure, sure, sure do that as God's well. Guide you. Oh, okay. So I have to find that place on my own again. But that concludes the quest, the fall of the house of Reardon. Uh, that's weird. This, this farmer's wife is an exact copy of the sister of the woman that died by the werewolf guy. The one we killed. The one we let die by the hands of that werewolf. Huh, that's weird. But they've been uh, reusing character models for a lot of the random characters. But let's head back to that uh, Reardon estate first. To gather our uh, treasure, since I didn't have the time for that when we met Leto. Okay, back at the manor. So, we haven't been in the big building on the right here, so I'm gonna first check this out. Oh, she's already here. There's this thing. Sturdy barn so key. Okay, yeah, that's the door we couldn't open uh, at the other end of the estate. Nothing else in this place? It looked bigger on the outside. Buddy. Or is this a separate door? Ah, this is a separate door. A ladle. Don't know when that would be come in handy. Oh. Look like twins. Old woman's brother. Must be. Okay. Some nice tidbit of information there. What's this? Mug. Jump for joy! Yeah, I accidentally keep pressing uh, the circle button to go out of the inventory menu, but uh, since I take everything, I'm automatically kicked out of it, and that's why he jumps from time to time for no apparent reason. So I apologize for that. Nothing here as well. Okay. Then let's go check out that barn, shall we? I'm gonna suppose the... The traps are all gone, so I don't need to be careful anymore. There we go. Hmm. Somebody lived here once. There's some scribbling on the wall over there. Just gonna check out these sacks. Emerald dust. Okay. Starting to look like treasure. Dolores. Okay. Something here. A chest. Where? Oh, wow. Where the hell did that come from? And it's still moving. Okay. 100 florins. So, extra money. Okay. So that's where the treasure was hidden in the barn. 